Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3 running Android 6.01. I wanted to test out some Sega Genesis, otherwise known in other parts of the world as Mega Drive. I'll be using MD.EMU. I would love to launch it from Nostalgia, but Nostalgia only supports Sega Genesis or Mega Drive through RetroArch, and I'm having trouble launching RetroArch on this build. So we'll go right into the app, MD.EMU. I am using a wired PS3 controller. Well, it's a Bluetooth PS3 controller, but I have it connected with a USB cable. We're going to start first game, Rocket Knight Adventures. Now, I played this game a few times when I was younger. I rented it from our local Hollywood video. It was either Hollywood video or Blockbuster. All right, so this game, I am some sort of raccoon, armadillo type creature. Uh, I'm really not sure what he is. But he does have a rocket pack, and it's pretty cool. The uh, You can charge it up by holding your fire button or your action button. You can do all kinds of things. Um, we can fly across the screen, fly in the air, diagonally like this. Or we can charge it up. Oh, there we go. Got him. Charge it up to use a spin attack. And there's certain spots you have to use your diagonal rocket pack to get over. The game's running really well. Come on, little piggies. Warthog things? Yeah, warthogs with the tusks, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so I can never get past this part without uh, using my rocket pack. I guess you're supposed to slide here and jump, possibly. There we go. I always use my rocket pack. I'd try once or twice and then give up and use the rocket pack. It's just easier. So we do have a little bit of lag when the enemies blow up on screen. A lot of effects, more sprites on screen. Overall, the gameplay itself is very smooth. Up here. Oh, wrong way. Go here. And I only got two hearts left. Sweet. So coming in here, I did notice I was a little bit laggy with the, uh... Water going on in the background. So this area here is lagging. It's still playable, but I noticed the frame rate has dropped tremendously. And I guess it's just that water animation there. Alright. We'll back out of here and try a different game. This one runs pretty decently. Next up, let's try Altered Beast. 
Now this is a must try for me because I love Altered Beast. My favorite Genesis game of all time. This is probably my favorite game that ever was on any Sega system at all. Voldemort looking guy over there. Alright, now I'm transforming into the beast. Feeling pretty beastly now. Oh man. I hate those flying creatures. Alright, transform into some grotesque monster so I can Welcome to your doom. Oh. No. Oh. Thought we would have to restart. Wow, I was pretty sure I was going to be able to dodge those. Yes! Runs super good. It's very playable. We'll move to the next game. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. This is a must test on pretty much any Genesis emulator. Now, if Sonic 2 runs good, a lot of the other games are going to run pretty well. See if we can get going fast through here. Why?
pretty smooth. Let's get We'll try one more level here. I couldn't get up to speed. I'm not sure if it's the emulator or user error. There we go, get some fast boots on us. Okay, yeah. It runs really good. I just keep hitting right on the edge. Okay, this is not going to work. Come on, Dr. Robotnik. Sweet. Very solid emulation on here. Let's try Eternal Champions. Now, I did play this game... Back in the day, I remember playing it at a buddy's house, and the game sucked to me. I was used to Mortal Kombat by the time I played this, and it just wasn't the same. So I'm getting a little button lag on this game. Um, yeah. It's definitely not dead on with this game here. I'm not sure what's going on with that. And actually, when I input a few hits, they keep going. The punches or the kicks keep going. Well, obviously I'm only kicking because I can only find the freaking kick button on this stupid game. So I just hit the button four times and it does take a second to register. So we do have button lag with Eternal Champions. There are other emulators that you could try out. I chose md.emu because it works really well in a lot of my other systems, so. Yeah, there's no way, there's no way to even play it. It's, there's about a half a second of delay. Last game I'm gonna try is Rystar. So Rystar is a really cool platformer game. And I'm guessing that this was built to compete with Sonic, the art style and everything. It's definitely not as fast paced as a Sonic game, but it's really fun to play. Spiky things. All 
I knew you were coming out of there, buddy. So from here, I should grab onto one of these and try to make it up to a chest, if I remember correctly. to the other one, but I didn't. Can get a swinger here? Oh, yeah. Overall, it's running really good. There's not a lot going on except for some background stuff. And um, like I said, it's just not a fast-paced game. Oh, gosh. I don't even know how to kill him. I'll back out of here. The game runs really good. Most of them ran well. Eternal Champions had severe button lag. Um, I'm not sure if it's the ROM I'm using or just the emulator itself. It's pretty much unplayable. Half second button lag when you're trying to kick or punch. That's it for now, guys. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I have a lot more coming. Go ahead and check out my channel. I got tons of videos. And like always, thanks for watching.